So on my Amazon 4K Fire Stick, it's just now received the latest update. I'm now going to install this in real time so we can see exactly what this update is. I haven't planned this. This literally came to my device today. But one of the things I've been fearing for a while, something that we saw only on the Amazon Fire Stick lights is now slowly spreading across the different Fire Sticks. So here we can see if I click on check for updates, it tells me my Fire Stick is up to date. Now, if I go back, we can see my developer options are just not there anymore. If I go back again, just to confirm that one more time on my Fire TV, we don't see any more developer options. So it really does look like Amazon are trying their absolute best to make side loading as difficult as possible. So novice users, people that are a bit new to the Fire Stick will just not be able to find the developer options. So they cannot enable the installation from unknown sources and therefore they just cannot side load their favorite streaming applications anymore. So first it was the Fire Stick Lite, but now we can see it's on my 4K Fire Stick, but also on my Cube and my Fire Stick Max, I can see they've now made some changes. So in this video today, let me show you all of those devices, all of those changes, and the two quickest things you can do to bring those developer options back. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let me start on my 4K Fire Stick Max. Now, as you guys know, this runs Fire OS 7, which is Android 9. Now on this device, I've been using it for a while. Let me once again go to settings. Go to my Fire TV. Here we can just confirm that I'm running Fire OS 7.2.8.5. Now if I click on check for updates, we can see this device now as of the 3rd of August is now also pulling down another update. So let me install this one. It really does seem like Amazon are aggressively pushing out these updates to all of the different devices, Fire OS 6, Fire OS 7, 4K Fire Stick, Fire Stick Lite, Fire Stick Max, and of course the second generation Fire TV Cube all seem to be pulling down these updates. And the behavior does seem slightly different depending on if you already had the options enabled before or if you've recently done a factory reset. So we can see on this device, which I haven't done a factory reset, I've been using it for a while, Let's see what happens once this update finishes installing. And while you are waiting for that, if you do want to see more videos like this on the latest Fire Stick updates, the latest Amazon devices, Android TVs, streaming applications, tips and tricks, really just how to get the most from your device, then please do take a moment to hit that like button and please make sure you are subscribed with all notifications so you know exactly when my next video drops. Thank you. So guys, it's actually been about 20 minutes, but every time I go back out, go back into my Fire TV, go to about, it doesn't seem to want to install. So I have seen this once before where even when you get the update, it doesn't seem to install until a certain time has passed. So I don't know if it's waiting for something. I've even tried rebooting my device, but in all cases, I click on install. It sits for a few minutes. If I press back a few times, go back in and it says install again. And I've even left it at this screen for 15 minutes or so and it's not installing. So either way, we can see definitely that there are some updates being pushed out. And on this 4K Fire Stick Max, I still have my developer options. Let me now jump over to my Fire TV Cube, which is also running Fire OS 7. And that one I did recently wipe and do a factory reset. Okay, so Fire TV Cube, let's go into that. Go into settings, my Fire TV, go to about, and we can see we're running Fire OS 7.2.8.5. Check for updates. This one also had an update. Click on install. This one we can see is a lot quicker. Okay, so the update is installed. If I click on check for updates again, no more updates. We can confirm our version is still the same, 7.2.8.5. 
and we can see no developer option. So if you see this on your Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7 device, as I mentioned in a previous video, we have to now follow the same process as you do on Android phones or Android tablets, which is you click on about, where you can see your device type, in this case is the Fire TV Cube. You now want to press the select button, this button here, seven times. So one, two, three, four. You see the message at the bottom telling you that you're nearly a developer. A few more times, it says now you're already a developer. Let's now press back and we can now see those developer options. So that's definitely the process which at the moment Amazon haven't locked out, they haven't fully blocked, they've just made the process difficult. So maybe a basic user or a novice user may get confused. He will try to find his developer options, won't be able to find them. And that way Amazon can prevent him sideloading his favorite streaming applications. But as we've seen with this quick step, we still have this workaround, which as of the 3rd of August is still working. Let's now jump over to my original 4K Fire Stick. So here we are on my 4K Fire Stick, which as you know, runs Fire OS 6. And we can just quickly confirm that we're running 6.2.9.0. We'll do a quick check to make sure if there's any updates, there's no new updates. So this has the very latest version. And we can see on this device, we don't have any developer options. But fortunately the process is the same. So I can go to about, where it says my device type, which is the Fire Stick uh, 4K. Again, I'm gonna press select seven times. So one, two, three, here we are. We can see the prompt at the bottom. One more time, we are now a developer. I can now go back, go into my developer options, and I can now once again, turn this option on. Yes, I want to turn it on. And that again, restores the ability for me to install applications from unknown sources or third party sources like my website or maybe other third party application stores. We can see that's now working once again. And one thing I was gonna show you on my 4K Fire Stick Max is even though the update is not installing at the moment, if I click on the device, we can see it's still prompting me that you're a developer. So this has definitely changed whereby now all devices, when you click on the device type, they show you the prompt telling you that you're a developer. And this is something that I only saw previously on the Fire Stick Lite. But as I mentioned before, it does seem like with these latest updates, Amazon are now aggressively pushing this change onto all devices, all device types. So if they go through a factory reset, you'll not be able to see those developer options until you follow the process as demonstrated in this video. So it is a bit worrying. And to be fair, what I previously saw on the Fire Stick Lite, I actually thought it was a bug or an error or they made a mistake because I couldn't see that issue on the other devices. But as we've seen today now, all device types, Fire OS 6, Fire OS 7, Fire TV Sticks, Fire TV Cubes are now all going to be impacted with this change. And the fact that Amazon are doing this it just shows to them that sideloading applications or you know installing third party applications is something that they do want to stop and doing this process they really are trying to make it as hard as possible and just before you go guys if you don't have a vpn or you're not happy with your current vpn hype vanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. And so please do leave me a comment below and let me know how far do you think Amazon are gonna go with this change? We can see they're making the process more and more difficult. Are they ever going to take it to the next level and just completely block the installation of third-party applications? So do leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.